Hey, what's up, guys? Jalen here from Team Bring Infinity, doing a deck profile post Lord of Hundred Thunder. We've got dungeon enemies, size three enemies to be exact, and I like to call this deck Hundred Dungeon because you know you can see all these Hundred Demon cards. Like, look at all of them. There are plenty around. Um, other than that, uh, the deck has changed quite a bit since the last size three enemy variant. Um. Well, if I further ado, I'm going to get into it. So we've got four copies of Jaish. Four copies of a Buddy, as you can see in the middle. Four copies of a Buddy, uh, Evil Dryad. And four copies of Dra Dragon 2 Foyer. This is my entire size zero lineup, 12 size zeros. Um, the reasoning behind all of them is very, sp well, very easily explained. Okay, so Jaish, of course, two crit. He's just the best two crit one. Mama Shiba sucks, and he's just pretty good. Um, 3,000 with Dominion Rod, not too bad. Um, then we got Evil Dryad and Dragon 2 Foyer. Um, Evil Dryad is pra practically just the Fate Skeleton that has an ability, but less defense. Um, the Thundermine is really useful. Like, There's tons of decks that have size 2, and even if I'm not getting the Thundermine effect, it's literally just there because it's Fate Skeleton with none of the um well unneeded defense really because you, you want if people can't kill your size three they're gonna kill your zero and if they're not gonna kill your zero then it, i don't know um but this thing kind of beta attacks almost as much as a size three because on certain decks they don't really want you to um ha be stopping their um giving them damage with the thunder mines like um go against hero world say superheroes and dark heroes they don't they call size twos quite a lot in that deck, so it's really not good for them to keep taking Thundermine, especially Dark Heroes. So, the Thundermine is very, very useful. Uh, Dragon Tooth Warrior. It saves all your size threes. Yes, it, ha it has a one gauge call cost, but with things like Lelag here, it's not really important. And even when I go for Demon's Dungeon and get it back, it's not that hard to have at least one spare gauge flying around the deck. And if I can't, he's not. He's not too bad. Of course, he baits out an attack, basically being like the other soul guard, and then your opponent's gonna be annoyed. Um, then on to the size threes, we got uh, sorry, four red arrogant, four guardian, um, four Hades dragon chief red arrogant, four guardian dragon demon ca demon castle Dale cruiser, De three death master Lelag monarch, two iron cyclops, and past the buddy in the flag we've got one copy of demon lord gagnar um so i'm gonna go over the size three lineup starting with red arrogant okay and after seeing that size three lineup everyone's gonna be like whoa where the fuck's meteorain okay you want to know where meteorain is hold up here he is side deck no not me side reasons you're all gonna bitch but there's the reason why Look at all these. 100 Demon, Demon Lord. Demon Lord, 100 Demon. 100 Demon, and Demon Lord. Everything can be called off this. So incredibly versatile and incredibly useful size 3 lineup. Meteor Rain? No Demon Lord. No 100 Demon. I can't get him back. And that's not just the re other. That's not even one reason. There are multiple reasons why Meteor Rain is not going to be ma in the main for maybe oh, quite a while. Meteor Rain, his double soul guard is good. His his burning meteor, which is practically the same as Red Arrogant, Red Arrogant can destroy even your own side of the field if it ever feels need, if you ever want to do an, e an evil deity altar combo, that can happen. Um anyway. Um Red Arrogant is just better right now in this format, because one, Meteor Rain only gets one attack and it's three crit penetrate. Three crit penetrate is already with Lelag, so I don't feel the need for him. And even with 10,000 to 11,000 power because of the Minion Rod, there is literally no real reason I need this thing. Double Soul Guard with 4,000 defense, regardless, maximum 7,000, because if I have the Minion Rod plus Fortune Shield, then it becomes um, 7,000 defense, because 5 and then 2. So, even with that, it's just the same stats as Deo Cruiser's defense, or say Lelag's defense, or Iron Cyclops' defense, or Dominion Rod version of just Gagnar. 
Every other size three. Oh, even with Red Arrogant, a Dominion Rod plus a Fortress Shield is 8,000 defense. He would have the lowest defense output I can ever put on a card in the entire size three lineup. Double Soul Guard, he's, his defense makes him too easy to get around, and then he has quite a hefty lifelink. I already have hefty lifelink with the four Red Arrogant and the two Iron Cyclops. Everything else is a lifelink too, so I don't take as much damage if they die. So, with this in my lineup, I would be taking, I would have more chances of taking more damage from a size 3. Same thing goes for Flood, and while he's in my, um, Diamond, um, Flood, since he's in my sideboard, once again, 3 crit penetrate, that kind of this already does the same job as, and it does more stuff too, and he's, and Flood is more specific on a matchup, like say, Danger World, so I'm not fond of Fl Flood being in the main 2. Same thing as Meteor Ring, he cannot be getting um, retreated back from, from Evil Deity Altar. So, I like Red Arrogant much more double attack, so I can even potentially do more damage with him, because he can do four if I go for two twice. And he can allow me for board wiping, he's got more defense, he's still got at least one Soul Guard, so I like Red Arrogant more. Dale Cruiser. Everyone's always going like, like when I see size three enemies of any sort, Dale Cruiser's a three of. This thing is a four of, in my opinion. Four of especially because there are so many targets in this deck we have one i'll get on to why this is even a one of name anyway two three four five six targets in my deck and that's not counting himself so that's a seventh he can get himself back so i can have a recurrable size three and against something like seeger i fucked them over with this thing dominion rod dominion rod plus deo cruiser is an instant win for me in seeger matchup because or just even adil diablos because 8k defense i have enough power to hit them and then if i have a Z any um any two zeros beside two jace i can literally just link attack it and then they're gonna lose practically two soul so, literally, this thing is the best thing, because, one, it's a reliable Soul Guard one, it gets back counter removal, it gets back more defense, now, size 3 retrieval, size 0 retrieval, like, there, there is a plethora of reasons why this is good, but those are the main reasons, and I'm not going to go into too much detail, because I don't want this being incredibly long for everyone who wants to watch this video. Then we got 3 Lee Lag. Lee Lag is a good card he gets you two size zeros from your drop for free so mainly two dragon tooth reason he's three of once again deo cruiser has him a target and evil deity altar so there's no reason to really really max him out also he is not very good unless i get a size zero setup since this deck doesn't have any kind of search card like say adventure side i can't really put a size zero in my drop if i felt like it. it's just basically by chance or i charge it and then it goes to or it or just ends up in my drop i call it it dies there's a plethora of reasons i mean there's many ways it can end up in a drop from either gauge field hand from arrogant or anything literally it's just that the fact that he can't be used too well in the in the early game he doesn't have soul guard, so he's easily susceptible to other size threes trying to attack him or anything like that. Um, but other than that, he has great penetrate. He has a, the same stats as Dale Cruiser, same gauge, but gets me two other cards rather than one other card. But soul guard is definitely, definitely very useful. Anyway, um, so that's, all, I guess, all my reasons I can say for Lelag just being a three of. Um, Iron Cyclops. This thing... If you don't know, this is one of the most insane dungeon enemies. I also really enjoy his flavor text. His flavor text is a body of steel and incredible magic power. Yamagero bestows such power to evildoers. This card is 11,000 power, 4 critical, 7,000 defense. Now, a hefty lifelink 4. The most lifelink in this entire deck. So that's why he's only a 2 of. Reason I love this thing 4 crit, double attack. Uh, sorry. Ugh, sorry, just my phone just being weird. Mm. Anyway, um, double attack. This thing has four crit, double attack. This thing has four crit just in general for two gauge, and I basically get three gauge afterward. But this is four crit, double attack. Now, this thing is quite hefty. Three gauge to call, so he's not the easiest one. He's the hardest one out of my entire lineup to get out, but... When I have certain things like Gagnar and him in the first opening hand, I think I just win. Because, like, literally four crit on the first turn. They take that or they block it, I am in a great position. If they don't block it, 
it mean if they do block it i'm even in a greater position because i have less cards to deal with this thing so say i go for something like gagnar first turn and then i um you know probably like maybe i'll um i don't know like it's just like if i get like two dragon twos beforehand or like i do like i've done like weird pl like um plays where i've ended up like evil deity altering into him like evil deity alter into iron cyclops at the end of a turn like say they just kill your deo cruiser and then you have three left um gauge flying by and then you can just and then you have one soul then this the soul goes away and then blah 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 then you get out him for your next turn's attack this thing just ruins people's lives people will waste no early game because they don't want to take three crit they don't want to take four crit they don't want to take three crit they don't want to take double attack tw um two crit twice so literally i'm wasting their nose and then when this comes out shit's over that is what this thing shines at where this thing shines late game especially mid game somewhat late game oh my god this thing can ruin lives and then in my deck, in, 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 um, in a size 3 deck where you played something like Dominion Rod, Dominion Rod will... People don't like Dominion Rod too much because it's like, well, why do I want a 3-2 weapon that, can't, that I'm just mainly going to use it for defense? Well, because the 1k defense really does matter. It's literally your armor... It's literally... You just use it as a as an Armor Knight formation. Armor Knight formation was always a, good, was always a decent card, but it wasn't always the best card. But this... Ma Dominion Rod makes it work. Anyway, um... Gagnar. He's a one of because one I don't have any more copies because I um well gave them to um another person another friend I know that um plays size three enemies so I just gave them to him and also I find it fine at one because he was always a little cloggy even at three because he's not the best size three because six thousand defense easy to get around against a dungeon world matchup or even other matchups where seven thousand seven thousand defense is not even enough like say Darkness Dragon World so he's not the worst he's not the best either he's pretty great at just being your other gauge excel card i can get him back with deo cruiser and then if i call him after deo cruiser i'll just practically get all my gauge back have shell saunas or something or fortune shields or something like the mini rod raises defense anyway he's just a pretty decent one of um now we get on to the spells finally um we get on to shell sauna this is just simple nullifier hidden crossbow this is your counter removal card that can be retrieved from deo cruiser Destru it's basically dragonic shoot for um defense instead it's always the one of the best cards right now and and i just love it fortune shield this is a card i'm always iffy on i hate this thing because 2000 random defense and counter attack i i always want enemies to get their own dragon energy it would be the perfect thing outside of a dragon barrier but this is the closest thing I think we're ever going to get from Bushy Road, unless, you know, pray to the gods that are actually going to give us a Dragon Barrier. <laughs> or a Wrath Trigger. Hell, I'll be happy with a Wrath Trigger. Even a, well, <laughs> I'm not going to push it and say a Dark Ender, you, but a Wrath Trigger, like, just anything that goes, like, pay a gate, like, if it's, like, pay one gauge, and then I just, like, get counterattack, and it doesn't, and it doesn't, um, and it just remains on field, I'll be fine with that. Not the life, because then Life Link. I mean, not, well, if it dies afterward, then lifelink, and then also, if I take penetrate, then this thing just does, that would do practically nothing. Anyway, Fortune Shield. Fortune Shield is a really great card in some aspects, where if I have the Minion Rod, it practically says, okay, this thing becomes 3,000 defense, practically plus, to the defense, and you get counterattack. So it's a half a Dragon Energy if I have the Minion Rod. If not, it's just a pretty shitty Dragon Energy without the Minion Rod. But even so, it gets people off guard, because, say, I have... Gagnar, they're gonna attack with like Naboru. Like, haha, I'm gonna kill this thing, and then you just fortune shield, they lost Naboru, and then you still have this thing blocking their your center, and they're like shit. Like literally the extra two thousand defense can come in handy on those one single attacks, and then especially when it starts making people fear it once they know you have it um in your deck. Cause then they'll be like, Oh, I'm gonna link attack. Then if you don't have it, then they're just wasting attacks that they could have potentially had. Um Next are three dangerous fuse. I never want to afford it of this thing ever again because this thing just clogs out the ass. It's not that good because there are points where you want gauge, but you go you get hand. Then there's points when you want hand, but you get gauge. And people especially who are good at like people I know like Jake and other people that face where they actually do know like no matter how much because you can't shuffle the cards went for dangerous fuse for them to reveal like on under the table or like away from their seeing eyes like you have to do it in front of them you don't have to show them like the cards while you're shuffling them but i mean like you can't you don't reveal the cards while you're shuffling them but you have to basically shuffle them near them and they have to be able to see that you're shuffling them so 
it could be easy if they like you reveal it then just start shuffling and then they keep track of it and then it'll probably just pick if they want you to have gauge or hand so it's not always so good people can play around it if they're um good at memorization anyway then two oracle to all this is always going to be here because this deck will go to low life with all this lifelink and the only life gain is shall sauna and buddy gift so yeah um, three Demon Wars Dungeon, I want four of this thing because there's only at least 12 zeros, and it, I can get it back from, with Deo Cruiser. Remember, Deo Cruiser is the reason I don't four of a lot of things, except the main rod, because that is its own reason. Um, anyway, just getting back all your zeros, even Dragon Tooth, yes, the one gauge is annoying, but it does, but it does help. Um, then we got the new card, Evil Deity Altar. It has a cast cost of basically just put the top three cards into your into um it soul and they can be fate and they they're face up so you get to know like what you're missing out of your deck now since yeah anyway set when when a monster on my field on my field is destroyed put a card from its soul into the drop zone when a number of cards in the soul becomes zero you can call a size three demon lord or 100 demon from your drop zone on your center by paying its call cost what does this mean this means if I have, say, two zeros and, say, something like a Gagnar, if they kill my field, I can, say, call the Gagnar right back. <laughs> I love doing stuff like that because it's funny. Because you just go, drop the drop Gagnar first turn, don't even charge and draw, and then set this. And then have, like, two zeros. Sometimes I'll have, like, a Dreyad and a Jaish. Or, like, if, if I, since I got the gauge with him now, I can just go, like, double Dragon Tooth. They're going to obviously want to kill the Dragon Tooth first, then kill him. Then I just go, oh, okay. Then I just, um... Well, then I wouldn't double Dragon Tooth. I mean, like, just say, like, one Dragon Tooth and a, another size zero. If they kill him plus Dragon Tooth and then also, um, like, the size zero, then I can just basically get the Gagnar back or any of these car, all my, any of my size threes back, just in retrospect. This thing just gets my entire three star, size three lineup. The weird thing is, this thing stays on the field, so I can't, like, Unless someone, like, uses Caliber and Glyph or something, I'm not going to have this thing go to the drop too often, and if it does from, like, the gauge or something, Deo Cruiser can get it back. Um, any, anything outside of that, it's just literally you can just get stuff back. Basically, if, say, like, I have one soul, and then, like I said before, if I have one soul, and then, like, one of these soul guard cards are going to die, and then I can, they'll just die, and then I can get back itself or, like, something else. So, it's really, really good. Um, but it's pretty unsynergetic as i can say it is a demon lord so i can set demon lord's dungeon like set both of these and then practically i could have a size three and a size zero play which is cool um but it's unsynergetic because randomly the soul like unless you get zeros in there it's not really helping you that or, or size threes in there like if you blew spells it's annoying but other than that it's pretty okay um in terms of like this the soul getting rid of basically just stuff in your deck randomly um then for Dominion Rod, because Dominion Rod is the, the best weapon. It is, like I said, an Ar Armonite formation that, in a pinch, it can go back to being weapon if you can't go size 3, and then you can start attacking your zeros and this, or something. Um, anyway, this this card is just literally your, arm your Armonite formation. You just give all your monsters 1,000 power and defense. And um, that's pretty much it. That is my deck, you guys. Hope you guys liked this video. Subscribe, Team Bring Infinity. I'm sorry this was so long. But people wanted this deck with explanations, and you got exactly that. So I'll see you guys later. Jam from Team Bring Infinity going out.